Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Craig's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. Today's beer, I bet it's gonna be a treat. Everything I get from Treehouse is a treat. This was sent to me by my brother Greg. This is Treehouse Brewing's Perfect Storm. And this is an American Imperial or Double IPA. Uh, it's not a huge beer, it's an eight percenter. Uh, he writes here, it says another new release in conjunction with their seventh anniversary. So, uh, they're celebrating their seventh anniversary of being in the craft beer business, I guess, and uh, they've been doing outstanding, exceptional, world-class beers uh, from what I have been getting my hands on for the ones that's being sent to me from Greg and some of the others uh, up in that neck of the woods. I wish I could get them here, guys, because uh, they're very, very tasty. They're brewery-only releases. They do not distribute. Uh, they have uh, uh, an assortment of beers that they do, and they put a date on it. Hmm, is that hard to do? Uh, and they don't distribute, guys. I mean, everything has to be bought at the brewery, but yet they still date their stuff. That's how it's done. If you're gonna be in a craft beer business, and you're not doing that, you suck. So, uh, a lot of times they'll put the ABV on the beers and sometimes they don't. That's the only bus I have. But uh, it's readily available at multiple sites. Untapped Beer Advocate. I don't know if Rate Beer is. We don't use those clowns anymore. Uh, and this one has uh, 6, 7 of 19. So uh, it's barely over a month old, about five weeks old here, guys. So still should be very tasty. So with that being said, Let's uh, jump over to Untapped and see if they have any additional information, 8%. Uh, and their commercial joke says, Perfect Storm is an absurdly hot rendition of Super Typhoon, the most kingly and intense of our weather series, featuring boatloads of Simcoe and Citra hops, two of my favorites. Perfect Storm pours a glowing orange in the glass and carries flavors of, uh, and aromas of earthy citrus, cantaloupe, papaya, and strawberry banana. Perfect Storm hop leanings are more intense and resonant with tongue coating fruity hop oils and a firm lingering bitterness. This one will evolve beautifully in the can with time and reveal layers of additional complexity through cold conditioning. It says enjoy. And then after that it says five dollars and thirty cents I came. I find that very hard to believe. I find it very, very hard that this is five dollars and thirty cents. Greg usually doesn't tell me what he pays for the beers. Uh, but if this is five dollars and thirty cents a can, I'd buy all they'd let me to have probably. And I ain't even popped the top on it yet. But it, I know it's gonna be a tasty beer coming from Treehouse. And they do these double IPAs extremely well. So Without further ado, I hear the air conditioner's cut on, so uh, I was hoping I could get through the intro here before it did, but it's 95 degrees outside, so it's running a little bit more than usual. Hot as hell out there. Hot as hell. Anyway, we're going to get most of it in the glass. We're going to shake that up behind, like I said. Uh, a little over finger of head, guys, it looks exactly like the last orange juice. These guys do this style outstandingly well, exceptionally well. I mean, uh, when I think of a New England style beer, they're, they're, they're number one on the list, guys. Them and Trillium come to mind immediately. Immediately. So uh, they do it very, very well. So let's get into the notes and see what we got. Wow. 
the hop aroma is off the freaking cane, guys. Pine, pineapple, grapefruit, hints of strawberries, peaches, oranges, mango. It's a smorgasbord of fruit utopia. A lot of stuff going on there. And it says something about we're well, all beautifully in the can. And not, to me, not so much. I want to have this beer in the first 90 days. I don't want to sell her a double IPA and lose some of this hot freshness and, and juiciness. So, drink them as fresh as you can, guys. I wouldn't sell her any IPA or double IPA. Because you know how I feel about dog fish and fish. Beers that they want you to sell their 120 Ugh. high dollar beer that I do not like. Now their 60 is pretty good. Their 90 minute is a little more malty than I prefer for a double IPA. But uh, the 120, ugh. I'll probably never buy another bottle of it. I think I've got one left downstairs in the fridge that's been in there forever. So I, I might get that out eventually. They say, oh, this does better with age. Well, I might have one downstairs that's got five to ten years on it. I doubt it's going to be any better than it was on the only one that was fresh. Just not a fan of that beer, guys. Just me. Just me, though. You may absolutely love it. Smells awesome. I'm tired of flapping my gums. I'm going to put some tasty beer to them. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. You guys are up in the area that you can go to these breweries like Trillium and Treehouse. They would know my face. I would have a reserved parking place in the parking lot. They would know me so much because I'd be buying everything they would allow me to get. That beer is outstanding. That is very delicious. Very smooth. I'm called well hidden. 8% or grapes like a 6. I have subscribers when I review these beers like this. Wish I could get my hands on it. I'm just so damn glad that I can, that I have subscribers that send me these wonderful, outstanding, world-class beers. I'm so blessed. I feel very privileged. And I appreciate every single one that is sent to me. So, uh, all you guys that are sending me beers, even the breweries that send me beers, I get beers from multiple breweries. I wish they were all as tasty as this. But they're not, and I'm still glad to get them. So, very nice. Very tasty beer. So, let me sip on this, and we'll come back and give it a great. Very impressed with what these guys do. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sitting on it for a while. Excellent lacing on the glass. Excellent beer inside the glass. Uh, never been dis disappointed from anything these guys produce at Treehouse. Uh, awesome brewery. Guys, if you're in the vicinity where you can go over to the brewery and pick something up from them, you will not be disappointed. Unless you're a micro lager drinker. Then you might be. Because these beers are designed for people such as myself, uh, seasoned craft beer drinkers, people that want uh, something other than a grassy, grainy taste in their beer, like you're going to get from Bud Miller and Coors. Uh, but they do produce uh, world-class beers. Uh, so uh, if your palate is used to drinking something like this, or maybe probably they produce something that's, uh, uh, that's going to get you into some craft beer. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But uh, I know if I was in the vicinity, they would know me uh, because I think their beers are outstanding. Nine out of ten of them are world class on top of that. So they are producing. I wish I had a brewery around here that produced this type of beer or the beers that these guys produce because I'd be a happy boy. Be a real happy boy. So uh, very tasty beer, guys. I enjoyed this thoroughly. Uh, and I usually do. Uh, anything that is sent to me from Treehouse or Trillium. So Greg, thanks again my brother. You sent me some awesome beers my friend. 
off some aroma, it's off the chain guys. The tropical fruit notes and the fruitiness and the strawberries and the peaches and, and uh, oranges and pine and pineapple and grapefruit, it's all there. It is all there. Outstanding. Final choke. We're not going to leave a drop of that. Nasserie. Wow. What an awesome off the chain aroma. Wow. These beers have ruined my palate, guys. Uh, we got to the point where everything else just tastes kind of bland and not impressive. So I have to control my thoughts when I'm reviewing like a West Coast style now because nothing lives up to a, a New England style to me. Uh, <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. And you guys that have never had one of these, you don't know what you're missing. You need to trade somebody, get some of these, taste some of these. But there are a lot of other breweries around the country and the world that are producing these types of uh, styles of beers and, the, and probably doing it pretty well. So, I'm not going to leave any of this. Ow! Dip smacking good. It's delicious. It's outstanding. It's world class. It's a 10. Imagine that. As though you probably haven't guessed by now already. I knew from the first couple of sips where this beer was probably going to end up. And as I sipped on it, I'm, I'm more and more impressed with every sip going, wow, wow. Delicious. It's absolutely a 10 for me, guys. I can give it an 11 if I could. Uh, Beer Advocate says 4.48. 4.48 outstanding. It is. It is an outstanding beer. Just like 9 out of 10, if not higher than that. Uh, gets that great from me because I am so impressed with what they do. Untapped says 4.46. Not the best numbers from either site. Uh, if you don't think this is a 10 beer, you probably bought the wrong beer or picked up the wrong beer or something. Uh, it is to me. I, I can't think of a single reason why it should not deserve a 10, especially since it's a brewery on the release and they're dating their cans. Is that that hard? Is it really that hard? Seriously, no, it's not. So, that being said, if you've had the perfect storm from Treehouse Brewery, let me know what you think, guys. I was very damn impressed, as usual. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.